what's up guys uh, okay welcome back for my review uh, of the crystal beast archetype the new crystal beast panel monsters are out on dev pro or yeah Yu-Gi-Oh pro uh, it's an unofficial update so again if you're interested in this unofficial update uh, go check out Yu-Gi-Oh hex channel i'll leave the link in the video description and you can download the link from there uh, so free yeah feel free to check out the link in the video description uh, if you miss out on part one i'll leave a link in the video description again so feel free to check it out as well uh, i will give more information there about the new cards and yeah this is just uh, the yeah the test deck i'm still testing out uh, the card ratios and so on so again if you have any suggestions tips and so on yeah definitely uh, leave them down below uh, yeah let's hop in into the first game uh, so again, uh, this is an unofficial update, so I can't play online. This is, uh, yeah, these are some a few duels against uh, uh, against the computer. Uh, I, I took the, the better ones, the, the better duels, the ones where the opponent is not an idiot. You know what I mean? If you're playing against the computer, or if you ever played Tag Force, your partner uh, is, is, is he, most of the time he will he will ruin your uh, field. Uh, yeah, everyone who played Tag Force <laughs> knows what I mean. Uh, so I go for Sky Blaster, go for Castell. Bounce Pegasus card, uh, already have uh, the tree set up, reborn the Pegasus. So set up my back row, which is fine. Uh, Crystal Tree is definitely one of the most important cards of the deck, next to uh, your field spell, of course, Pegasus, and your new trap card, Crystal Gathering, uh, which still has a few glitches on the new uh, uh, update. Yeah, an official update, so I can't play it uh, yet on its full potential. Uh, he has a terrible hand, as you saw. Since, yeah, I think, yeah, I bounced back his uh, Danap, so he can't reborn it with his Altair. And here I'm just thinking my options. I should uh, have the chance to go for a game. Yeah, thanks to Chidori, I can bounce back his back row. Uh, uh, yeah, bounce back his monster. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I, I make a minor, minor mistake. I think I was able to go for a game, uh, but yeah, we know his uh, set card was pretty much useless. Uh, yeah, he's going to pass, so I can uh, attack for a game. So luckily, uh, the mistake didn't bite me in the ass. Uh, he gets to start again, goes for Lavalva Chain to send the Sovereign, the, yeah, the Starstruff Sovereign, the Kage to Kage for Starstruff to the top of his deck. Uh, so we know we can expect uh, some derpy moves next turn, since if he already has a Scepter in his hand, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much game over. Uh, so we're also on Pegasus, Pegasus in the back row. I have a blessing, uh, no, I have the beacon in hand, which is fine, but I activated my duality, so I can't special summon, so I, I need to hope that I survive uh, to even make a move next turn, but as I, yeah, obviously, thanks to his Deltros and his Scepter, he's able to destroy both my Pegasus and my back row, and yeah, thanks to Rhapsody, he can manage them, but that's, yeah, game over, we, we don't need to play that out. Next tool, I get to start uh, only with five cards, and as I said in the last video, it kind of hurts uh, if you uh, open with Crystal Beast. Only five cards. Uh, it's yeah, I'd, I'd like to open with six. Uh, it's it's yeah, a card extra to open with your Pegasus, your key cards like your Field Spell, your Crystal Tree, uh, or yeah, your Crystal Blessing. Uh, so I play against heroes. Uh, I had a few games against heroes, but. Uh, yeah, Crystal Beast, uh, as I said before, uh, even with a new support, it's not really uh, that great. Uh, the archetype is a bit better, but still, they need much more support. Uh, Glyford, for uh, for example, it's it's yeah, Crystal Beast is no match for Glyford. Uh, so I go for Garbuncle. Very unfortunately, it does have a breakthrough skill, so no special summons from Pegasus. So now I need to activate my rare value, draw two cards, and I draw the I think the two most. Uh, Dead cards, I could draw the Abundance and the Duality. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, again, is always game over. He can also, I think he had the ability, yeah, indeed, he had a mass change, so he also could have gone for the Asset from his extra deck to blow up my back row. Uh, my Field Spell would have survived, but I think he's going for the OTK now here with, uh, yeah, his Trinity indeed. So Trinity can attack all my monsters, and his attack is doubled. Uh, I can half the attack, thanks to my field spell. Uh, yeah, not half the attack, but half the damage. But uh, yeah, that's still not enough, so we can OTK me. Uh, very sad, since the Abundance would have crippled him next turn. Uh, but yeah, that's the case with Crystal Beast. Nothing I can do. So my opening head is very good. 
activate three normal summon Pegasus, he has no response. Uh, try to suicide, uh, which is okay, fine, he discards the honest, activate my field spell. He cannot destroy it thanks to my Pegasus in the back row. Uh, 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 yeah, I think I already drew a card thanks to my field spell. Uh, not really sure overthinking my options here. Yeah, I was thinking to set my trap card, but as I said before, you can't activate the second effect of my trap to send back a crystal beast on my side of the field back to the hand and one card from the opponent back to his hand. Uh, so, normal summon Pegasus. To set up the eagle activates effect to draw a card yeah indeed then special summon the carbuncle yeah this is definitely one of the advantages of the crystal beast archetype if you see well if you draw well if you see the right cards you can cycle through your pegasus uh, with yeah from the grave and so on you can special summon everything with carbuncle uh, and then go for the rank four exceeds like chidori bounce back everything uh, you could also go for zero fine with your eagles. Uh, if, if the deck is, the, yeah, the deck is decent if you draw well, but if you, there are so many hands that you can brick that you can draw very terrible, and then it's, yeah, it's just a good game for your opponent. You can't really do anything. Yeah, here I think uh, I make it. Yeah, indeed, I make a minor, minor mistake. Here. I could have gone for a game if I uh, sent one of my Pegasus to the grave instead of the eagle. Since, as you will see now, uh, I do have the option to go or at least activate my uh, my beacon from my hand, special summon the Carbuncle from my deck, uh, and special summon the Sapphire Pegasus to the field. Uh, so, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, I then go for a rank 3 Exceed with both my Carbuncles. And then, uh, yeah, if I would have sent the Pegasus to my grave, set of the Eagle, I would have been able to activate my uh, Reborn spell in my hand. Uh, and yeah, to special summon the, the, the last Pegasus from my grave to the field and attack for a game. So it's a minor mistake I made here, uh, and that, which definitely can bite me uh, in the ass later. Uh, so there is a Sovereign, yeah, some standard uh, Star Seraph shenanigans. But yeah, thanks to Engineer, I can protect my uh, Chidori, which will be important to bypass his, uh, his Deltros, draw into Rare Value, which is fine. Also have the Soul Charge sitting in the back just in case uh, if uh, yeah, everything goes wrong, you never know. So I think I'm going to activate my Rare Value here uh, to get two draws, and depending on my draws, to uh, yeah act accordingly and I draw into terraforming which is fine also the breakthrough skill uh, so I'm going to reborn a pegasus and I think I should you know, I, yeah both my Chidoris are gone uh, so I'm probably going for the art knight yeah art knight is the exceed I should go for and take control or at least yeah, attach the delta Ross to the art knight and try to attack for a game uh, if he has a response or something like that, I still have the field spell set up. I have the breakthrough skill, so I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much set to go. Also have the soul charge, just, yeah, just in case. Uh, but yeah, I should go for Art Knight here. Yeah, apologies, this is something I maybe should have cut out of the video. Yeah, go for Art Knight and go to the battle phase and try to attack for a game. Yeah, no response. Uh, so GG. Then the last duel against Shadows, and Shadows is. Kind of a terrible matchup due to Winda, of course. I can only special summon once, and we know if you already special summon your Carbuncle to trigger it, and special summon everything from your, yeah, from your back row, you can't because of Winda. So, cards like Breakthrough Skill uh, are very important in this matchup, and of course, your Crystal Gathering, your uh, Trap card to bounce back uh, something on your side of the field and something on your opponent's side of the field is, of course, also very important. But yeah, as I said, the card uh, still has a glitch, it doesn't work properly at the moment uh, so there is the window and uh, yeah now I think I can pretty much uh, already scoop up my cards since I, obviously I can't go for an extra deck exceed or yeah I can't go for an extra deck summon I can't go for an exceed or uh, yeah you will yeah, even get more advantage out of that is going to set the sanctum as well search with the hedgehog so it's yeah, also the dragon to pop my back rows to pop my tree Pop my Pegasus and so on. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much game over. Uh, so yeah, set up my tree. This is fine. I I, I have four uh, crystal pieces in my back row. I have the the, the yeah the, the field spell set up. Uh, I can special summon everything thanks to Carbuncle, but he has that wind uh, and I'm going to scoop it up here. Yeah, indeed, uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, so yeah. 
Uh, all in all, I'm still testing out the correct, or yeah, the, the right ratios, but I started with 3-3, uh, three, three, so 3 Vanguard, 3 uh, Defender, but I quickly dropped uh, Defender to 1 and the Vanguard to 2. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that the, the Pendulum Summons are getting up the Pendulum Scale, uh, it's, it's not an important in Crystal Beast at this moment. Uh, the only reason why you would set up your Pendulum Scale is to recycle your Pendulum Monsters, like you can tribute them on the field, they go to the extra deck, you search something out, and next turn, if you have your scale intact, you can special summon or yeah, pendulum summon everything back to the field, use their effect again, and so on. But that's something that really doesn't work if you're playing against a good opponent. Uh, so I think at this moment, getting up the pendulum scale isn't really worth it. Uh, so yeah, again, if you have any suggestions for the decklist, uh, for card choices and so on, uh, I am, I'm highly interested, definitely leave that down below. Uh, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Peace.